Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the priest token using PancakeSwap and Trust Wallet. I'm going to be showing you guys step-by-step -step how to purchase BNB from Binance, transfer it over to your smart chain wallet on your Trust Wallet, and then swapping it for the priest token. Now, you guys can buy the BNB right on Trust Wallet if that works for you, but just in my region, that doesn't work, so that is an option as well. Uh, I'd also like to let you guys know I do have daily cryptocurrency tutorials coming out on this channel. So if you guys are looking to learn how to buy, sell, and more to do in the cryptocurrency space, I'd really recommend subscribing to this channel as I'll have lots of tutorials into the future. Anyhow, just stay tuned and I'll show you guys how to buy this token. The first step that you guys want to do is you guys want to download Trust Wallet from the App Store. So just head over to the App Store and type in Trust Wallet. So you're going to head over here, search, then just search for Trust Wallet. And it'll just be this first one right here, Trusts, and then the Crypto and Bitcoin Wallet. So you just want to download that first. Then obviously you want to make sure that you have Binance or Coinbase or an exchange of some sort. Uh, and then create accounts on Binance, which is pretty straightforward. Most of you guys probably already have that or an exchange that you guys at least have access to. Uh, so I'll just leave that as it is. So just make sure you guys download the Trust Wallet first. Uh, once you guys do that, you can exit out of here and open up Trust Wallet. You'll then be greeted with this right here to create a new wallet. So you're going to want to go ahead and click on Create a New Wallet. And that's gonna let you know here that you have to back up your wallet now, and you will see 12 words that allows you to recover your wallet in the next step. So you just gotta click on the bottom here that I understand that if I lose the recovery words, I will not be able to access my wallet. So it's very, very important that you guys do not lose these words or else you will lose access to your wallet. And I do not recommend taking a screenshot either. I recommend just writing it down on a piece of paper and putting it in a safe place. Uh, anyhow, you just wanna click on I understand for that and then continue. Then here is your 12 words that you cannot show anyone or anything like that. I'm obviously not going to use this account. That's why I'm okay showing it. Uh, but these are the words that you guys want to write down and keep them in a safe place or else you could lose all your cryptocurrencies that you have in your wallet. Very, very important. Uh, anyhow, once you're done writing this stuff down, you can click on continue. And then you have to put the words in here to verify the recovery phrase. So just make sure you guys go ahead and do that. And then once you guys put those words in and in the right order, you will see this message here that your wallet was successfully created. That's exactly what you want to see. So you just want to go ahead and click on, on OK here. And then what you guys want to do next is you want to transfer over BNB or Smart Chain here. So you're going to have to go to an exchange that you either can purchase BNB or Smart Chain or you already have some in. So I'm just going to show you guys Binance, for example. So we're just going to exit out of here and head over to Binance Exchange. And what you guys want to do on here is you want to either purchase BNB or uh, you could trade it from another crypto into it. So uh, if you guys don't have anything in here yet, you guys first want to obviously create an account on Binance, but I'm going to assume you guys have already done that. Uh, so once you guys are done doing that, you just want to go to a deposit option here. So whether it's a bank transfer or a Visa or MasterCard, you can go ahead and click on that. Once you guys are in here, you guys can just go over to where it says buy. And you just want to switch this over to BNB. And then you just want to choose the amount from your native currency that you guys want to transfer into uh, BNB. So let's just say if I wanted to do $500, I can type in $500 and then it will give me 0.73 BNB. Now, if you're okay with this, you can just click on continue at the bottom and then it will go into your Binance wallet. Now to withdraw your BNB, you just want to go over to the bottom right corner where it says wallets. Click on that. Then you just want to scroll down until you find BNB. Once you guys find BNB here, you just want to go ahead and click on it. Then you want to click on withdraw. What you guys want to do now is you guys want to exit out and back over to your trust wallet. Click on the smart chain. And then you want to click on receive, copy. And this was going to copy the address for the trust wallet. Now you're going to want to put the BNB into the smart chain because it's going to be a lot easier just to quickly transfer it into the coin that you guys are looking for. Uh, so yeah, just transfer the BNB over to the smart chain just like I did here. So you just want to back out of here back over to Binance, and then you wanna click on address and paste that address right here. Now I already have it in my whitelist, so I can just click on it, but you guys are just gonna to wanna to paste it up at the very top there. Uh, now what you guys wanna do is you guys want to click on network, and just make sure it is on the BEP20 right here that mine is on. You just wanna click on confirm for that, and then you want to click on the amount that you wanna transfer. So if you wanna transfer all of your BNB, you just click on max, or you can click on the amount that you wanna type in and just type in the amount that you want. Once you guys do that, you just want to click on withdraw at the bottom here. Once you guys click on withdraw, it should only take about a couple minutes to go over to your trust wallet. So we'll just give that a couple minutes and then you just want to head back over to your trust wallet. And once you guys have your BNB into your smart chain wallet on your trust wallet, you'll now have to add the priest token to the trust wallet. And that's really easy to do. I will have a link in the description over to the BSC scan website where you guys are going to just going to copy the contract address and then bring it over to your trust wallet. So if you guys just head over to that first link I have in the description, it'll bring you over to BSC scan right here. And all you have to do is scroll down and copy the contract address. So right beside contract, you see those two little squares. Just go ahead and click on copy. 
and that's going to copy the address to there. We can then exit back over to our Trust Wallet and head back into our Trust Wallet. Now we just have to go to the top right of the screen and click on the two lines and the two circles. Once you do that, you want to click on the top search bar and just paste that contract address in the top. Once you guys do that, you will see the priest token pop up. You just got to enable it and click on done. And once we have that done, we have to head over to the X browser tab on the bottom here. If you guys don't have the browser tab on the bottom, you will have to go to the second link I have in the description. It'll bring you guys over to the Trust Wallet website and I'll show you guys exactly what to do. So I'll show you guys right here really quick. You just have to go over to the Trust Wallet website and then it'll tell you to enable your DApp browser here. And to do that, we're just gonna scroll down and click on the step one, the link that you guys see there where it says Trust Browser Enable. Go ahead and click on that and then it'll pop open this pop-up here asking you to open it in Trust Wallet. Once you guys do that, it will then bring you back into your Trust Wallet with the browser icon at the bottom. Very easy to do. Once you guys are done doing that, you wanna head back over to your Trust Wallet. And then once you guys are back in here, uh, all you guys have to do is go over to the browser and head over to PancakeSwap. This is your first time in PancakeSwap, you will have to connect your wallet and you could do that by going to the top of your screen where you see the connect button, clicking on that and then clicking on trust wallet. It will then show you your wallet address at the top just like mine is right there. Once you guys have that done there, you just wanna make sure your BNB balance is in your wallet. If you guys don't see your BNB balance there, just make sure you have your BNB in your smart chain wallet on your trust wallet and not your BNB wallet. If you guys accidentally have it in your BNB wallet or you just purchased BNB on trust wallet, all you guys have to do is go to your BNB balance, click on that, and then click on the dots, and then swap it to your smart chain wallet. Once you guys do that, you can come back into Pancake Swap, and you should be good to go, and you should see a balance there for your BNB. Once you guys have that there and you see your balance, you can click on select a currency, and you're going to paste that same address we got from BSC Scan in here as well. So we just go ahead and paste that in here, and we will then see the priest token right there. So we can go ahead and click on add, and then click on the token. We now have to decide how much BNB that we want to transfer over into that token. So let's just say if I want to do 0.2, I could type in 0.2. It will then show me the amount I'll get in exchange for that. Now you guys will have to change your slippage tolerance as well. Uh, now for this token, I've seen a lot of people say around 5%. So you guys can change your slippage tolerance very easily by going to where it says exchange. Right beside that, you see the three lines. Go ahead and click on that. You guys can then set your slippage tolerance in here. Like I said, I've seen a lot of people use 5 on this token. I've read it on Reddit and things like that. Uh, but you guys can play around with the slippage tolerance if it's not working for you. But for this token, let's just do five and then we can exit out of here. And if you guys are happy with your exchange rate and things like that at this point, you can then click on where it says insufficient BNB balance for me. I uh, can tell you here to swap and then it'll bring you over to another page where it's going to show you your withdrawal rates and your fees and things like that. Uh, now, if you guys are happy with that, you can go ahead and click on confirm for the swap and then it will give you a successful notice. Once that is done, you guys can then exit out of here and go back over to your wallet and you will then see the priest token in your wallet, usually within a couple minutes, depending on the liquidity. Anyhow, I really hope I was able to help you guys out with showing you guys how to get the priest token on Trust Wallet and PancakeSwap. This video did help you out. Be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.